Hey everybody, I'm back, back for more, and we are going to cover in this video the lecture schedule and the late policy. So if you would, back to the Moodle site, up top course information, again we go into the syllabus information folder, and you have the late policy and the lecture schedule. And when you click on those items, we'll cover the lecture schedule first. The lecture schedule is a tentative schedule of readings, lectures, films, and events that we're going to be doing this semester. The chapter numbers and pages correspond with the 14th edition of the textbook. And you can see I've got each week set aside, and week one, uh, which covers August 14th through 20th, the weeks they begin on a Monday and they end on the following Sunday. When that happens, I should also um, mention that the Moodle site will also change. So let's go back to the Moodle site real quick since I'm thinking about it. Waiting, waiting. Let's do this. Here we go. So when we look at the Moodle site, we have week one on top, and you can see it's highlighted. The following Monday, the 21st, what will happen is week two will be highlighted. Week one will drop all the way down to the bottom here, and it'll be, it will be underneath week 18. So it's going to kind of rotate, just kind of like a Ferris wheel does. And by the time we get to week 18, you'll look down, and week one will be right underneath it, followed by all the other weeks. So next week, week two will be highlighted. I'll have all the information filled out here for you. So on Monday the 21st, you can begin with that material. Okay, so let's go back to the lecture schedule. Uh, and again, class introduction is what we're doing this week. As I mentioned in the weekly video, this week we have people dropping, people adding. I don't want to get too far ahead of anyone uh, that may perhaps add the class on Friday. So this week is basically one where you get the textbook, you begin reading. Uh, this week we're just going to read pages 1 through 13. It will help those of you who have never really studied art history before by telling you what art history is all about. And then, of course, we will also do the Moodle project, and I will grade that um, early next week, probably Monday or Tuesday. And the Moodle project will be a uh, subject of another video, and it's basically logging on to Moodle and uploading a picture of yourself, as well as writing a paragraph or two. So um, you can see each week we're going to be covering material. Um, instead of a project, we have quiz uh, one next week, and you can see that we have a series of quizzes, and any time a much larger project is due, um, I just have you do the larger project. I don't do a quiz and a project during the semester. Um, we have plenty of time. We have uh, 17 or 18 weeks together, and that gives us more than enough time to complete everything by the middle of December. So next week, even if you wanted to work ahead, you know, you could go through and read the next 15 pages after the introduction, which deals with uh, prehistoric art. I'll also have a video uh, or several videos that deal with art of this era. And uh, the quiz will be open on August 21st as well. You will have a full week to complete the quizzes, but like I say in the videos, the earlier you do them, the better. You would not believe how many students wait until Sunday to do these. And it's not just Sunday, it's Sunday afternoon. And I probably have 80% of the class completed Sunday. 20% of the class completes it in the last hour of Sunday, literally between 11 p.m. and midnight, and that is not something you want to do. Um, earlier the better, and as a hint for those of you who are taking online classes, I prefer to grade throughout the week, 
a little bit here, a little bit there, when you all turn in projects at the last minute, and then it gives me uh, just this overwhelming amount of grading to do. Uh, it's not good for me, and it's not good for you either. It's I've become much more critical in terms of grading and such, as most teachers do. So the earlier, you, the better uh, on quizzes. But you can see each week is broken up into material. Um, this will be discussed more and more as we get uh, on the Moodle site and in that current week. But you can kind of see how we move through the early civilizations such as Greece and Rome and uh, such. And by the time we hit the latter half of the semester, we have the fall of the Roman Empire, such as late antiquity and Byzantium. Uh, I have a special lecture on art theft, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it's one of my areas where that's my interest and that's my area of scholarship. I'm intrigued with the idea of looting and repatriation of stolen artifacts. Uh, medieval Europe, this is the uh, Middle Ages or Dark Ages, and then before you know it, it's going to be week 18, uh, which is December 11th through 14th. That is a shortened week, and that is um, a week where we just have the final exam. Normally I do a quiz. I haven't made up my mind, or a quiz meaning an essay. Um, I haven't made up my mind yet for this class, but uh, you will definitely be alerted as to what the final exam or the final quiz is going to be. It's nothing more uh, difficult than any of the other quizzes. So, but we will have a quiz on that week. And again, the semester ends December 14th, and everything has to be in by that time uh, because they have shortened the time span for us to get final grades in this semester. So that's kind of the, the lecture schedule. Again, you can refer to it. I keep the Moodle site updated. That is the uh, what I would call the living lecture schedule. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the late policy here. And the late policy for projects, Please note that projects are due on the following days. The Moodle project, um, which I'll discuss shortly, is due on August 20th, followed by the annotated bibliography, September 17th, the artwork and artist statement, October 8th, early civilization paper, October 29th, and extra credit is December the 10th. So you can see that there is a, a lot of space in between these major projects for the course. Uh, again, it's something that's good for you and it's good for me as well. Please note that late work is not accepted. If you have issues with any of the above dates, please talk to me well before the assignment is due. I normally have students taking online classes for various reasons. Um, I've had, I think, a student get married every time I've taught an online class. And if you're away for a honeymoon or something like that, you know, please let me know in advance and we can work around uh, a due date or two. So um, once the due date has passed, though, there's nothing I can do to help you. So always be very communicative with your teachers, um, whether it's in person or online, and definitely with the online classes. Please note that assignments cannot be made up or redone for higher scores. Uh, we do not allow do-overs. You get one chance to turn in your project. Once the projects are graded, always verify that your grade is correct on Moodle. Um, mistakes happen, and I've had students who have, uh, for instance, they've taken a quiz and gotten uh, for instance, 18 points, and then they look online and there is zero. And so always bring that to my attention. If you've taken a quiz, you've gotten points for it, but for some reason the grade book is showing a, a zero or a score that's not yours. Um, occasionally things like that happen in the program, and um, I can easily correct them during the semester. Please note that the gradebook is the official grade book for the class. And do not delete or throw away any assignments until the final letter grades are posted. And again, that's something that is good to note, not only for my class, but also for any other online class you might be taking or in-person class. 
As far as the makeup policy for the quizzes, um, please note that quizzes open on Monday. You have until the following Sunday to complete them. So seven full days. Uh, because this is an online class, it is expected you are setting aside time every week to not only study, but to complete the quizzes. There are no makeups for the quizzes that you have missed or waited too long to take. Do not ask me to reopen the quizzes. I cannot do that. I have them set to expire at a particular time. Please do not wait until the last minute to complete or upload quiz material. Again, the sooner you complete them, the better. Projects or quizzes uploaded after the cutoff time will not be considered. I, I had a student who uh, was so lucky last uh, summer when I was teaching this class that um, he uploaded it after I had done all the grading for it. I don't know how the system even let him upload it, but somehow he got it in. Didn't tell me that it was late or to be on the lookout for it. And only when I went back to um, look for some other student's project to verify a score, I saw his there and uh, was able to grade it, marking it down significantly for it being late. But uh, again, do not uh, upload late projects. Um, so that is the late policy and lecture schedule. And uh, if you do have any questions on any of the documents uh, in the course, whether it's these or the course syllabus, please don't hesitate to email me. And uh, with that, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you next week.